Okay, so this is like a teeny tiny room build that you might recognize if you've ever, ever decided to venture into the train wreck that is my Black Widow 100 Baby Challenge thingy. So basically I had a gigantic kitchen, which just, I did not need to be that big. And I said to myself, you know, I could move the kitchen further down and make like the top end of the room like a little like, little like sunroom kind of thing. Because, you know, that's kind of, that's the kind of thing fancy, be a fancy room for them to have and to sit in and stuff. Yeah, as you're going to see, I ended up not going with that idea, despite having it for weeks. I, I just made it into a sort of, a ni just a nice, large size sitting room. There's not any particular, you know, extreme number of windows. There's curtains over the windows and everything. It's, it's not, it's not remotely a sunroom, but it, I think it turned out a reasonably nice room. I, and I think it works with, like, the whole house and, you know, my slightly snobby, fancy, needing a black widow sim. I feel like it fits with her needs and stuff. And, you know, a room build is kind of nice to do instead of a full house build because I'm still working on some. Like the retail house one. I have the shop bit done, but I want to do like the like outside around the back and I don't want to make it three parts, so I'm kind of like, no, I'm waiting until I completely finish it. And, uh, yeah, there's a thing. Um... See, this is like two minutes, so I don't want to get fully like stuck into it. But just it's a nice sitting room with you know a bunch of sofas, coffee tables, plants, lamps. It's a room. It's for sitting. They haven't really used it. They've used it once. That's about it. But you know, when my Sims Club gets a few bit more, they'll use it. Till then, it's just it's a nice room to look at. It fits. It fits, so it sits. I hate trying to find appropriate artwork for these rooms. It's just I don't know art, okay? It's just ah.